Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Loon and Neat, and I'm first just going to provide a little intro to our session here. So, if we've never met before, um, hi, thanks for being here. I love to create relaxing, empowering opportunities to reflect, to kind of send the focus within on for each of us, a place to sort of catch your breath, to recenter, to align, and just kind of have a little self-care moment or relaxing moment, whether you have things playing in the background or you're using this as a sleep aid. And I create energy work sessions in an ASMR style because I think they blend together so nicely. So I just want to thank you so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path today. All right, so the theme for our session is about releasing absolutes. Absolutes as in, you always do this. You always say this. I always feel this way. This always happens. <laughs> um, or really segregating good and bad because yes, those things are very different, but most things are a combination of good and bad. So from an energy worker perspective, it's just really helpful to be okay with the gray, be okay with the yin and yang, be okay in a little bit more non-judgmental sort of way of viewing things. And also, specifically, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to how we communicate with people. Because a lot of times when we find ourselves expressing our needs or boundaries, we can, especially with those who are very close to us, we really often speak in these absolutes as I kind of shared already. You always do that. You never do that. I always do this. Ugh, like those kind of things. When... Probably if we stopped and thought about it for a moment, it's probably not really always and never. It's more of a, hey, I really love when we do this, can we do more of that? <laughs> or, hey, um, this was very helpful, could we work something out here? Like, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. So that's the concept, that's the theme, releasing these absolutes. Because as we navigate without them, without such um, a dominance of absolutes in our language and our thought and in our perspective, how we're viewing and judging things, we're creating a lot more ease, we're creating a lot more opportunity for effective communication, we're expressing ourselves more accurately, truthfully, like more accurately, and that's just a, you know, forgive me for saying it, right? it's just a better place to be. So I hope that you enjoy all you need to do if you're interested in tuning into this as an energy work session is just lay back, get comfortable, or, or do whatever you're doing. I would say the best things to do is just anything that focuses on you. That can be journaling, cleaning, working, creating, sleeping, meditating, um, versus doing something for someone else or being distracted by someone else in some sense or kind of letting your energy drain out because you're focusing elsewhere but if you have this playing in the background it's kind of helpful as it's kind of creating an opportunity to focus on yourself and that's kind of the point all right we have a quick little um sponsorship portion here so thank you so much for um to our sponsor for supporting this channel thank you very much supporting this channel by viewing, liking, commenting, subscribing, please, you know, all those things are so helpful. And specifically, a very thank you to those of you on Patreon. I have a lot of things I want to do, and I'm so grateful to those of you who resonate with my work, um, who enjoy this channel and enjoy what I'm doing, and are, um, first of all, if you're able to, of course, but um, are choosing to go like that extra step to support and fund, you know, some of the things over here that we're doing. So, Again, thank you so much for having our quick little sponsorship and we'll see you soon for the session, all right? See you soon. Thank you so very much to Ritual for sponsoring our video today. I do my best each morning to squeeze in a little time for myself, simple things, you know, a little journeying, letting Bamba out, taking him for a walk, 
getting a little bit of exercise, moving my body, cooking myself something, <laughs> getting some type of nourishment in my body. And even on days when I'm skipping one of these, I know I can always rely on ritual to fill in the gaps in my diet. I personally take Essential for Women, and it's just a tiny step, an easy, simple step that helps support healthy function for me and my body. Ritual vitamins contain nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are not the easiest to get enough of in our diets day to day, even with a healthy diet. They are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and contain no added sugar. And there's a minty tab in each bottle that keeps your vitamins smelling really good. Like I love the smell of these vitamins. Transparency is at the core of everything that Ritual does from the way they source their nutrients to the environmental impact of the materials that are used when they're shipping thousands and thousands of orders. If you visit their website, you'll be able to see their made traceable ingredients and why they choose them. Ritual offers men's multivitamin, 50 plus, prenatal and postnatal kids, and teen vitamins, and they also have launched an essential protein range. Making Ritual a part of your ritual, <laughs> sorry, I had to, <laughs> is such a great and easy, sustainable way to make sure that you're getting the nutrients that you need, filling in the gaps, and staying balanced. Ritual is generously offering 20% off your first month. Go to my link and use my code here to get 20% off your first month using Ritual. I can't recommend these enough. I love them. They're always easy on my stomach with their delayed release capsule design. I love the way they smell. And to be a little superficial here, I think they're the most beautiful vitamins I've ever seen. Please use my link below and my code to get those 20% off your first month. And thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring this video. And thank you very much, my viewers, subscribers. I am so grateful to you. Couldn't do this without you. Then now let's get into our session. Alright, we're just going to set an intention with our candle. Kind of explained it already, right? But candle work is important to me. Incense matches. And we're going to light our candle on behalf of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort perfect alignment with an intention to support the energy work today to support the release of absolutes it's not all clear like that it's not all so segregated it's all not so separate a comfortable we want to set the intention to acclimate to or accept this comfort in a comfortable way excuse me the fact that it's kind of all mushed together, you know, it's a chicken or the egg, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. It's in all of us, right? It's everywhere we look, for the most part. <laughs> Here I am speaking in absolutes. It's everywhere we look. It's in most places that we look, or if we look for that, we'll easily find it. We want to specifically support our communication as well as our thoughts, the internal communication as thinking in such absolutes is typically quite disempowering. It can be language that just is that little bit of the snowball starting to push where now we're thinking in ways, this internal language, internal dialogue of no one's ever there for me, I never get what I want, da 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 da, and it can just heighten because we're feeding into it ourselves. So if this resonates with you, this theme, I hope it does, but if it does specifically for something that you can identify, I'd love for you to just set your own intention here. Just have a look at this flame, this gateway, this portal, and just send in your intention or declare, you know, that you're ready to receive. <laughs> cool. Declare that you're ready to receive in alignment with, of course, your free will and what is ultimately best for you 
and that being something that you and your higher self know much better than I would or anyone else. sort of heighten or um, bring to our awareness that we we do this you know we do this from time to time we speak this way we think this way we view and judge things this way we condemn things based off one action or we cancel people write things off you know there's times for that right but it can be a little extreme so we just want to bring it to our awareness that this exists to identify it in our lives and I'm going to be using these gorgeous polarized, polarizing moonstones so black and I guess you would say white moonstone or rainbow moonstone these are from Monk and Moon and I'm just going to first tap through the channel of you I'm going to tap through the meridians Tapping deep into the thought, the language, the words we choose, the way we observe, so the lower mind. And I'm just going to move behind you to the zeal point in the back to kind of work between thought and suppressed thought and the conscious and suppressed subconscious to kind of work in that space. Right, so right behind your head, the, the base of your skull. bringing to our awareness rather so we can catch these words these patterns these absolutes and be more authentic with them or with what we're thinking on have this glass athame. It is basically like a cookie cutter piece of glass. <laughs> I don't know, that's what it reminds me of anyway. If you're gonna make a dagger cookie. <laughs> and what I mean by that is it's very dull. It's just shaped, you know, with glass. So it, it's not super safe, but it's not going to hurt me or you. It's more symbolic to cut through those layers um, specifically the history of this, the layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of how we've viewed things in the past or up until this moment, up until every moment where we have a chance to reflect on it, all the ways we've communicated, all the ways we've been so, you never, I always, you know, that kind of stuff. So our intention is to slice through these layers, this kind of um, calcified layers of how we communicate, how we think, how we view, how we judge, and clear way so we can access the root, the bud. Setting that intention. 
attention to access and cut through so gently cut through those layers those patterns to our actions it is a bit mental but it can carry through so I just want to move down the body to the earthly experience of this as well or the day-to-day -day experience specifically as it ties to your relationship so really focusing around all of the energy points and correspondence but specifically as I move lower to the sacral area, this point of communication or connection between people, how we connect in our intimate relationships. Okay. Just carving that away, just so gently. Carving is a harsh word, but just so we can access through. Just a little quick clean up going through with this piece of some type of calcitony, I'm not exactly sure, but it is gray and it almost looks like a wave in motion or something. Like it looks like frozen, like it was moving. <laughs> into like the memory bank or I don't know, something like that is popping up. I'm just gonna follow the impulse here to just access through. This happens, these absolutes and these extremes happen in our friendships and our relationships and I guess the parasocial relationships too. We're so ready to deem someone as not doing enough or doing something wrong or being bad now or something. And a lot of times it's just that we're, we're complicated. <laughs> We're complicated people. I'm very lucky to have received so many comments from people who say, oh, I wish I knew you in real life. And to be truthful, or candid rather, sometimes meeting people in real life is what scares me the most because I don't want to let you down. You have this thing in your head of what I'm like, but this is only a facet of who I am. You know, I'm also very playful or kind of um, lewd from time to time or something. You know, I can get a little mushy, so. <laughs> I hope that's an acceptable analogy there. I just want to focus a little more deeply going through. Just 
just for that flexibility, clearing the rigidity on how you view things. And it might not be everything, but maybe there's a certain soft spot for you or a certain something or other. Cucumber and mint, cucumber, mint, and fireweed spray is so soft and soothing, so comfy, cleansing. I love using this when I do like a mask, like a clay mask. The cucumber cools and soothes. We're just going to use these intentions, this correspondence, to just keep softening things up so we can get to the roots, the bud, the little germ. sort of bird-like with these wings. I have a pretty powerful um, you know, that. It's quite powerful. So we just want to set an intention to connect with again, the root, the bud, the germ, the seed, the implant of so quickly identifying with absolutes, so quickly judging good, bad, so quickly judging, um, it, or rather like thinking of like, again, always and never, or all of those kind of things. Sorry that I'm not articulating that right, but I think that's enough, honestly. So we want to access that, and we're going to just find them like little beads and trim. Just kind of 
channeling just to help them move as we're in the process just like a little water coming in letting them move through just process naturally from the system from your system and highlighting Unhooking it, letting it move. And I'm just going to go around the sacral, specifically six. but also refilling those spaces, planting new seeds, new buds, new roots, new pathways, new channels that support releasing judgment, that support grasping the, yes, paradoxical nature of all of this and how in most cases, good and bad are mixed together. Planting new seeds, channels for your communication, your inner communication, how you talk to yourself, how you think, in ways that are more empowered to you and more, may I humbly say, more truthful, more accurate, more effective. And then particularly flowing out, carrying forward and forward and forward to your relationships, your communication with others. So we are 
channeling through. And we're gonna move under the feet, up the back of the legs, back over the top of the head, down the front of the body, under the feet, up the back of the body, over the top of the head, forward, down, under, now like a ball, a wheel moving forward, pumping, energizing, empowering you in your connection to all that is, to your divinity, to the divine na nature of this universe and your place in it. And anyone can be a judge, right? We're all our own judges in the end. But what's a way that we can break the cycle, break the wheel, stop judging ourselves so harshly, stop condemning, stop, what's the word, the, throwing the baby out with the bathwater kind of thing. So let's just empower the momentum of you, your thought, your communication, and the frequency you hold, the vibe you hold here in this realm. For all of us. Right. changes like this, when we make a commitment, a dedication to enhance our thoughts, our language, and our judgments in such a way, it really is like a rebirth. So I want to empower you as you carry this forward. It's not just in your meditations, although that's a great practice. It's not just for good days. <laughs> It's for always. It is anchored in. So we just want to channel this through, supporting your own rebirth here. Because such a shift in perspective. That's my neighbor's garage. <laughs> but such a shift in perspective is truly like, what's the word? Just like, it's truly, I, don't, I keep life changing is what's popping into my head, but I don't want to use that phrase. But it really does make huge shifts in our life to have that perspective change, that awareness in the front, in the forefront. Form pulled through 
with a magnet and then up. I am not ambidextrous, so <laughs> always a little more awkward with the left hand and then through. Deep into consciousness, deep into thought, just like rushing. Picture this wind as rushing water, forming those new channels, forming those new gateways, those new connections. thing before we go. At the time that I'm recording this, it's July 12th. I think I'm going to post it July 12th also. I'm going to try to because I think it's helpful for the upcoming supermoon on July 13th, 2022. Tomorrow's my birthday <laughs> and I feel very blessed to have a supermoon on my birthday. So I just wanted to use it. Cancer Eclipse Moon um, spray. So I just wanna just wanna support these great changes that I know a lot of us are moving through. And even if you're watching this at a different time, you still experienced what we all are experiencing. So just wanna move this through and empower those changes, those gateways doorways that we cross through and just combing through, combing through, combing through, combing. All right. Well, thank you so, so, so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path today, tonight. And thank you truly, deeply for being such a big part of mine. I'm really excited because in September my classes are coming back. I have missed them this summer and it's probably for the best just because I um been really busy but um, my classes are coming back so if you're interested in learning Reiki, I'm a teacher so you know you can find that information on my website. Sorry I meant to put this in the intro and I forgot. Um, and if you also just like kind of deeper talks about these kind of things. Um, in Patreon, we do have a lesson tier, in addition to long forms and um, manifesting circles and stuff. So if you'd like to join our lovely community, that's a great way to do it. So thank you for hearing me out. I read from the very, very, very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine in you the universe in you, the power in you, the unlimited in you, the completely interwoven, interconnected, all of that in you, the wisdom, all of it, and I, because I'm part of it too. Right. So much love to you, my friends. Of course, and wishing you nothing but the